Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Happy 2017. Now, I know, I'm honest with you guys in every video that I've made recently, that I have just not been in the mood to film. I just haven't. And I don't understand why. Um, I love you guys, I love making videos and stuff like that. So, I decided, you know what? 2017 is here. I'm going to be one of those people who, new year, new me, blah, 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 blah. But I have to stick with it. I love you guys. I'm passionate about what I do on here. So I'm going to do it. This is 2017. My banner above my YouTube says new videos every Friday. Today is Friday, the first Friday of 2017. And this is a new video. Hold me to it. I promise. So the first video is going to be more about my love for Diptyque as a brand. Diptyque is my absolute favorite brand. I cannot get enough of this company. Everything that they do, from their stores to their packaging to their scents, everything is absolutely phenomenal. I love to use that word phenomenal, but it really is. So. This video is going to be basically me rambling about everything I love about Diptyque, as well as some of my favorites. So, let's go ahead and get started. What the F is Diptyque? Diptyque is a candle company. This is what Diptyque is. Pretty much in a nutshell. So, I did some research, as I love to do. And like I said, this video has no plan. It's basically... Oops. It's basically going to be a ramble video. So, I wrote some some notes. So, I'm going to start off with what is Diptyque. In 1963, <clears throat> Diptyque started with three people, and they created a bazaar, which is a B-A-Z-A-R. Not bizarre, like crazy. Um, it is a store that has lots of different items. Perfumes, textiles, you know, pillows, really cool uh, furniture and things like that and people fell in love with them. Very, very pretty patterns. You can find a lot of the patterns in the Diptyque stores. Um, here's actually one of the patterns that I happen to have right by me. It's one of their bird patterns. So it's very, very, very fascinating things. And what's very cool about them is um, they decided that in 1963, they took fragrance perfume and put it with wax to create a scented candle one of the very first people that ever put scent to wax which i find very very fascinating it's very very cool um their first three scents were abulpine tea and cinnamon tea is very very hard to find i have yet to find it i know you can just say well i looked online it's sold out you can call the boutiques they don't have it i'm on a wait list at my local boutique well I shouldn't say my local boutique, the boutique that I shop at in Beverly Hills. Um, I'm on the wait list for the tea candle, so as soon as it comes back, I am going to get one. Um, and cinnamon. Those were the three. I only have one here. I have Abupim, which happens to be a boutique exclusive. But I'll get into all that in a little bit. So, <coughs> this candle right here is 6.5 ounces. It retails for $62, and it burns for 60 hours. 60 to 65. I know. You're thinking, that is insane for a candle to spend $62 on one. Yeah, it's a lot of money to spend on a candle. Here's the thing. When I first discovered Diptyque, they have mini candles. They are about this size. This is one of the, well, this is their um, gift with purchase candle, so you can't purchase this. Um, I don't have one of the small candles in arm's length reach, but it's about half the size. It's three ounces, 3.2 ounces, and retails for $32. They have a discovery set at Nordstrom, and my aunt purchased it for me for Christmas, and it came, whoops, and it came with three of, I would say, their most popular scents. Bay. Bay is their number one most popular scent. Fig which is fig tree and roses. So it came with three of those small sizes. Fell in love, absolutely loved those candles. But I opened up the box and they were shattered. My, and it wasn't anything on their part, it was my aunt's part. Um, she dropped the box going in the house. So I went to Nordstrom and I took them back and I was gonna return it for that same gift set. But they have these candles, which is this size. 
These are $90. They are the colored glass candles. They're 10 ounces. They burn a little over um, 90 hours, and they're $90. So the same for the three-pack of the half-size, the mini candles. Um, so I purchased this guy. This was my first. This is the first Diptyque candle I ever lit. I'm definitely going to be keeping this. This is empty right now. I use it to keep my makeup brushes in it. But this is my first ever Diptyque candle. Um, in December, Christmas of 2016 was my one year, I want to say anniversary with Diptyque. Um, my first day is Christmas Day is when I've discovered Diptyque. And that's when it happened. And uh, it's funny, people always say that I shifted from Yankee Candle and Bath and Body Works to Diptyque and Joe Malone. Um, I definitely really moved over. Um, I'm now known as the Diptyque guy instead of Candle Kid. So I like Yankee Candle Kid. Now I'm the Diptyque guy, which I prefer. It sounds a lot better. But anyway, this is their Bay Candle. It is black currant leaves and Bulgarian rose petals. Well, this one doesn't smell because it's been washed out and cleaned. But this smells absolutely divine as you can see I've been burning this one this is what makes everybody fall in love with the brand is the bay candle now what is $62 for a candle why am I spending that well they are each made by hand the wicks are coated in a paraffin wax so they stay straight all the way down to remain stable then they take the glasses that are handmade hand-blown glasses and they heat them to avoid wax streaking down the sides of the jar or tunneling as a lot of companies do. The wax is filled all the way to the tippy top with about 140 to 180 degrees uh, Fahrenheit of wax and then cooled slowly on a conveyor belt. Um, then the wicks are hand straightened as they're cooling. But the thing is, once they sit overnight, they're actually gonna create a little dip in the middle. The way for you guys at home to find that out is if you take any candle, don't use a Diptyque one, they're too nice, um, take a cheaper candle and put it on one of those wax warmers, either a flat one or the lamps, let it melt completely and then turn it off and you will see the dip in the middle. That's because the hot wax as it cools dips down. So in the morning, the Diptyque people, the creators, take it after the 24 hours and they go through this heater, it's almost like a broiler, that heats the top to flatten it back out again. That's why the wax is filled all the way to the top of the brim. But you wouldn't want to burn it that high. It's it's too it's too high. That's why they fill it that way because it dips. So when it melts, it flattens down and creates the perfect length. They are hand trimmed, put in the package, wrapped in cellophane, and they are ready to go to your door. Now, walking into a Diptyque store is absolutely incredible. One of these candles, just one, will fill up your entire home. Um, I mean. I'm a little bit more of an extreme, so I burn one upstairs and one downstairs, um, and then they blend. And I always do ones that will blend together, so they blend halfway through the house. But lighting one, I'm also going to do an update on candle care. So how can I keep my candle, for example, this is Food of Wah. As you can see, it is empty. It is holding some Diptyque perfumes at the moment. How can I get my candle to look like that when it's done? Well, the first thing, you burn your candle for one inch or one hour for every inch in diameter. So these candles are about three inches in diameter, at least three hours, three to four hours you wanna light that candle. Make sure that wax is completely melted from edge to edge. That way it burns clean all the way down. If you only burn it for an hour, it's gonna create like a wax, um, it's gonna create wax like right in the middle. And then every time you burn that candle, it has a memory, so it's just gonna keep tunneling. You don't want that. So after it burns for that four hours, extinguish it, blow it out. Um, not too hard, you can use a uh, snuffer, that's what I do, but it will fill up your home for the entire rest of the day. It's not like, well, you only get four hours of enjoyment. No, your home will stay scented all day. I was burning Fou de Bois all yesterday in my home. This is also in the color glass. Fou de Bois is wood fire. It smells just like a campfire, just like a fireplace. But what's crazy about this, I hated this candle hated it when I first smelled it until my best friend, one of my best friends, um, bought me the, this small food of block candle for Christmas last year. Um, I talked about it in a video that got me into it. I finished that. I bought this guy. It is amazing. It is one of my favorite scents for like the living room. It is just pure wood. So I've burned that candle. As you can see, it burned from edge to edge and we still have a wick. It's super long wick trimmers. This is one from Diptyque. This retails for $40. Um, super crazy people might think you know you can get a cheap one at Yankee Candle or anywhere and all you're gonna do is stick the wick right in there 
up a little bit and trim it. That's it. That is a little foot that catches the wick. Then your wick is nice and trimmed and ready for the next burn. Why do you have to trim your wick? The reason why you want to trim the wick of a candle is because if you don't, the combustion, the flame will get super high. It'll burn that wax very fast. And when it burns that wax very fast, that means you're not going to get the lifetime of that candle. It's going to go super quick. Also can heat the glass too much and crack it and break it. You also don't want that. So trimming that wick helps it burn for its maximum potential. It also helps with the smoke and the soot in the home. So trimming the wick, you can use scissors if you want, but a designated wick trimmer is awesome to have. So let's go ahead and jump into the scents. Well, this actually could use a trim as well. So I will show you that again. So there we go. We'll go down here and just trim. So it's nice and trim and nice and short and ready for the next burn. So like I said, Bay, super popular. Celebrities love this scent. Um, every celebrity that you can think of burns a diptyque in their home. It's just awesome. Um, Roses is another one. Pure, fresh roses. I love this. And the thing is, they last forever, so you can get a variety of them, and it's not like you're going to be gone in like a day. Fig is a fig tree. Pure, pure fig tree. It smells so fresh. And another thing with Diptyque, there are scents that aren't don't sound like oh, Christmas cupcake. They're very fresh. They're very natural scents. They're very um, earthy scents. Oud the absolute strongest diptyque candle that you can get. I only have this in the I have this in the half size as well as this full size. I have not burned the full size. I've burned the half size. Fills up the entire home. Top and bottom. It is absolutely crazy that it burns the entire candle. Um so this is going to be the world's like the I want to say the world's strongest diptyque's strongest candle. Then we have my hands down favorite diptyque candle. Benjuan. If you love me, you get me Benjuan. That is just it. It is this mix between caramel and vanilla, but it's not bakery. It's sweet. It has a little bit of patchouli in there, so it adds that spice and warmth to it. It's just delicious. I love it so much. Now, if you go to a Diptyque boutique, they'll definitely explain this to you. Um, if not, if you're at like a Nordstrom or some retailer that sells Diptyque, and they have them sitting out, if you think these testers have been sitting out for a while, it's not going to smell as fresh. What you want to do is the ones in the store have already been ready for you. You pop it out, and just like Yankee Candles, you smell the lid, you smell the inside of the jar to get that pure fragrance of the candle. Aubupine is a hawthorn bush. Literally, if I smell this, I mean, it smells great, it smells delicious, but when you pop it out, you get the base notes, the mid notes, you get everything about this candle. This is how your candle is going to smell. So doing that in the stores will make your candles. That's how you're going to get that pure scent. Now, out of all of the candles, they also have boutique exclusives. You can only order them at diptyque.com under the boutique exclusive section. Most of the time they're sold out. If not, you can actually go to the Diptyque boutique stores. Um, not as itchy. Nordstrom's don't sell them or anything like that. And some of my favorite boutique exclusives are Chen. Chen is oak tree. I've talked about this before. I got some slack over what I said. I said it smells like a fancy, like a bougie Home Depot. It really does. It smells like you walk into Home Depot, but it's like fresh wood and freshly chopped wood and everything. It is so, so yummy. I love Chen. Foin Coupe. Foin Coupe is freshly mown hay. And it does, it smells just like, like fresh grass. Let me see. Pop the wax out this guy. It does, it just smells like freshly waxed, freshly waxed, fresh um, hay. They do have a freshly waxed library floor too. It's called Boisserie. It's beautiful. I love that. And then Aubupine is also a boutique exclusive that I love. Um, there's so many that I love. Then... The Beverly Hills store was the first store to ever get its own candle. Now, when new stores open, they have their very own candle. This is the Beverly Hills candle. So it's in like a frosted blue glass with a label. And, and it says Beverly Hills. Beautiful. I have two of these. Love this. And also, Beverly Hills is my choice of boutique. My boutique 
my boutique of choice to shop at, I should say. Um, I've never actually physically been to the store, but I call and order. Allison and Jody, who work there, are absolutely phenomenal. Um, definitely, I'm going to leave um, their information in the down bar below. If you order from that boutique store, they are the sweetest people. They will walk you through everything. It's just awesome. And if you do, definitely let them know that Drew sent you. Um, I love them. I talk to them all the time. They're just super sweet people. Um, they have just the nicest people and their candles are the best um the second store that got their own candle is miami it is the miami candle it smells like um i'm a little sick so it's hard for me to talk but it smells like like palm trees like leaves and then the third candle which i have on my phone because i don't have it and i cannot figure out how i'm gonna get it it is berlin berlin now has their very own diptyque candle at the berlin store so i mean i'm sure it would cost an arm and a leg to have it shipped to the united states i mean it's probably possible you could do it but i just don't know how um i'm trying to look at through my phone when i went to new york i was at the store on mott street in soho this is what it looks like when you first walk in and if you can see there's actually like a little pillow in the front there that um is where they uh right here where they actually like tap out the glass so you can smell the wax it's just a gorgeous store and diptyque has everything they have perfumes too they have giant candles that are indoor outdoor candles they have um diffusers it's just there's a lot and then what's awesome about them is getting them gift wrapped each one has their very own um three tissue paper colors that go with that certain candle so when they wrap it it's like a barcode almost it's really really fun they make awesome gifts i feel like this is how people discover diptyque for the first time is they get it as a gift because i mean you can buy somebody a really nice bottle of wine for christmas or or like their birthday or you can get them a candle that's going to last them such a long time and it's something that maybe a lot of people don't treat themselves to a luxury 62 dollar candle i understand like that's that's understandable i understand it's a lot of money and not everybody can afford those luxuries but if you can it's definitely a wise wise decision and i highly recommend if you do order this month to go or next month the valentine's day candle now this is not the valentine's day candle that i'm going to show you now this is last year's valentine's day candle it's still one of my favorites this is rosa viola it is what they do is every year they take their rose candle and they infuse it with different notes to really change it. And they work with special designers. Last year was with Olympia Latan for Diptyque. That's what it looks like. Um, and this is lipstick and leather infused with rose. It's beautiful. I'm almost done with it, but I don't have the heart to burn the rest. I need to order another one. But you can't because they don't have them anywhere. It sucks. But this year, they partnered with Antoinette Pantone. I can't think of her name exactly. But... Let me see if there's a picture. It is beautiful. It's called Rosa Monday. I already ordered mine. I'm just waiting for it to get here. It should be here this week. So I'm very, very, very excited about that. But it is, this is what it looks like. And it's a very dirty, spicy rose. So it's a very, like, outdoorsy type of rose. They're beautiful. And it's $62. It's a nice gift for the guys watching to get their significant others, their girlfriends, um, for Christmas or for Valentine's Day. I would much rather have... A nice diptyque rose candle than a bunch of fresh roses because hey you can get fresh roses and they're dead in a week those are not but anyway i know i rambled a lot in this video i really didn't talk about i mean i shouldn't say i didn't talk about a lot i made a 20 minute video all about how freaking amazing diptyque is um i just love diptyque and i also want to give a big shout out to eva in the city who really boosted my confidence in making videos again i've kind of i don't want to say i lost interest in it but it just wasn't i don't know i felt like it just wasn't for me and i i know it is i really love making videos and i love seeing you guys i've seen a couple people actually from youtube who um stopped me in the street um both in new york city when i'm there all the time i'm in new york a lot um and in pittsburgh or anywhere like if you see me in new york if you see me anywhere definitely just say hi i don't bite i uh i love taking pictures i love and who knows if we're in new york we can go to a diptyque store together <gasps> it's my favorite thing to do but anyway thank you so much even in the city i'll link her youtube down below as well thank you all so much i love you guys so much let's make 2017 amazing and i'm here for you guys love you guys